man admits to raping a mentally disabled child and had the nerve to ask the judge, wish me luck in prison. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. In today's video, we have a sick individual who decides to rape an underage male and has the nerve to have some, a bit of sarcasm, asking the judge to wish him luck. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. There are more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself. I'm on normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. An 18-year-old man in Pennsylvania was spent up to a decade behind bars after he admitted to sexually assaulting a mentally disabled child in the woods last year. Center Court Common Center County Court of Common Pleas. Say that one. Say that real fast. Judge Jonathan D. Grine last week ordered David Michael Heck to serve a sentence of five to ten years in a state correctional facility after he pleaded guilty to one count of first degree felony rape on a child under the age of 13. Heck, who has been in detention on $50,000 bond since his first initial arrest in October 2022, was credited with 275 days of time served. Following his release from prison, Heck will also be required to spend three years on probation. He will also be required to register as a sex offender for life, according to Pennsylvania state law, as he should. In addition to rape charges, Heck was also charged with two counts of involuntary deviate sexual intercourse with a mentally disabled person, one count of corruption of a minor and one count of indecent assault on a person less than 13 years of age. However, those charges were dropped as part of Heck's agreement to plead guilty to rape. During Thursday's hearing, Judge Grind gave Heck the chance to address the court before formally handing down the sentence. Heck stood up again and said, wish me luck. That's all you got to say? Wish me luck? You can't say I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. I was, you know, moment of temporary insanity. You just said wish me luck. Mm. So you know what you're about to get into, right? Okay. According to a report from Altoona, Pennsylvania, two witnesses told investigators with the Pennsylvania State Police that they were walking on October the 15th of 2020 when they spotted a naked heck in the woods with a little boy. They went to inspect further, the witnesses said, and they saw heck masturbating over the child. How sick. You need to do more than five to 10 years for something like that. When the two witnesses confronted heck, he reportedly said he would leave, then got on his bike and fled the scene. Two witnesses follow him while simultaneously calling 911. I'm glad they followed this kid. I'm glad they, you know, did they due diligence or whatever because if they didn't do what they were supposed to do, this kid would have got away with that. He would have got away with it. And it would have been one child that's been um, tampered with in a way that should not have been tampered with because he was, you know, mentally challenged, okay? And those are the kids that we need to take care of at all costs because they can't do it for themselves. Therefore, something like this would have been swept under the rug if they didn't follow him and, you know, catch him doing what he was doing, which I'm glad he got caught. Some other child could have got hurt in the process. The witnesses approached the, then approached the child who was described in the criminal complaint as being visibly upset and crying. So you hear this child was upset, crying. You didn't even care. You're going to do you. It's a mean, cold world out here with these kids. Okay, and I don't know where he learned that from, but he needs to unlearn it fast. So I can tell you one thing: once you get into prison, 
They're going to be doing the exact same thing to you. And you're going to be in the same predicament. The victim reportedly told the witnesses that Heck had forced him to engage in oral sexual activity against his will in the wooded area. Sick man. Heck also reported he, he, Heck also reportedly threatened to child safety if he told anyone what happened. So he threatened the kid. Don't tell nobody what I just did. I don't know what this world's coming to, y'all. I, I really don't. This is this is beyond nasty, okay? Now, in an interview with the victim's mother, she reportedly told investigators that Heck went to her home earlier that day and claimed that he was 14 years old and was a friend of her son, asking that the boy would come out and play. When the victim came outside to greet Heck, the child reportedly said he did not know Heck. Heck reportedly responded to the child by saying he didn't recognize him because he had changed his looks. Heck, who had been in Center County Correctional Facility since October, will be transferred to a state prison to serve out his sentence. All right. So, I'll put the link in the description. That way you can dive in, you know what I'm saying, do a little more research or whatever, you know, that you might want to look into. But, um, you know, this, uh, this situation is not a good one, okay? Number one, we got... Number one, we got a nasty 18-year-old taking advantage of an innocent 13-year-old. You know, when you're dealing with these kids these days, um, you got to really watch, have a watchful eye, and see, you know, what their intentions are. You know what I'm saying? Like... Some of your kids' friends. Hey, that's just so and so. That's just so and so. Just watch this kid. See what they're about. What are their parents about? What are they learning from home? Is he the wise guy? Is he the one? Is he the one? Is she the one? That's just fast. Is he the one that's like you know, always doing something he ain't supposed to be doing? I mean, these are the things that you need to be aware of as a parent because some of these kids ain't got the sense the guy gave them. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna try it. They're gonna try some stuff. These kids these days. Are on another level on another level that more than I've ever seen before in my life okay so they're doing things that you would think that they would do later on in life as they get older they're starting way earlier it's almost like they come out the womb to just create havoc you know what I'm saying and this gentleman right here I mean just a goal for you to then take this kid into the woods you get all out naked and you make him do some things that he don't want to do. Now, he probably knew that he shouldn't be doing that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you made him do it anyway against his own will. And then you have another threat in him. Now, boys in prison will take good care of you, my friend. They got something for you. And ain't going to be what you want. So, the moral of the story is, ladies, gentlemen... Your little, you got, you know, you got any kids, you got any little brothers, little sisters or whatever. Just keep a watchful eye on their friends and see what they're about, what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Just even your own child. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure they're not going on the wrong path. You know what I'm saying? Because things like this happen all too common. And if it was not for the advent of the camera, we would not have seen a lot of these things. Okay? So, with social media, the camera, internet, all along, you know, it's like, we get more and more of these stories on a regular basis opposed to when we would hear these kind of stories, you know, far and in between. You know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of this stuff. So, um, yeah. Hopefully this kid gets dealt with on a personal level in prison by those who need to deal with him. I don't want him to have no sort of protection or anything. I just want him to get dealt with. You know what I'm saying? Same way you deal with this kid, you need to get dealt with. Because karma is a mother effort. You know what I'm saying? So, kudos to those people that went out there. I don't know who you are, the stand bystanders or whatever. But, you know, big shout out to you guys for doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and helping this kid out. You know, I, I'm, I'm, he's not a relative of mine, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the kid. But just hearing that someone doing the right thing to help someone else out warms my heart. So, I definitely appreciate that. But in the meantime, between time, if you like what you've heard, Please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. There'll be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. 
similar to yourself. All my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. All my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to AV's POV, where we do videos like this four to five times a week, okay? Try to keep up with the current events. Um, some stories may be from the past, but a lot of these stories are current, and I try to keep you in the loop. I know what's going on. Um, you know, if you're a visitor, you know, I, I welcome you as well. Um, so what you guys can do for me right now is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, obviously, if you're a, a new, you know, a new channel member or a channel visitor or a channel new subscriber, basically, you know what I'm saying? You already hit the subscribe button, but the visitors, just go on and hit that subscribe button, you know, stick around for a little bit and see what I'm working with, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, feel free to leave, you know what I'm saying? But just give me a chance, you know what I'm saying? Let me try to entertain you the best way I can. So, um, you know, go check me out on Facebook as well because I have a Facebook page. So if you look on the Facebook page, I'll put it right across the screen, AG's TV. Um, you know, go and give me a, you know, follow a like. Um, you know, add friend, you know what I'm saying? I would love to be your friend on Facebook. Um, so, you know, I'm doing some things, you know, obviously I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, as you can very well see on the bottom of the screen. Um, you know, I'm doing what I can to try to entertain you the best way I can. I'm on YouTube shorts as well. So I'm all over the place. I'm not all over the place all at once, but I do have content on every single one of those platforms. So with that being said, I love every single one of y'all. I thank you for coming out. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.